from NASA was quoted saying we could actually hear the typical strains of symphony in the sound of strange storm coming from our planet and not an alien ship. What? He goes on to say the noises are inaudible to human ears unless the volume is high. Are we talking about the same noises? The low frequency sounds that were being heard in the skies across Britain have now spread to major cities across the world. Something that started off as a couple of isolated incidents has now become a worldwide affair. Scientists are calling it a global phenomenon as they still don't yet have an explanation for what is causing the sounds. What's causing the strange sounds that are being heard around the world? Oh, it's a sound. It's been associated with concepts of cosmic sound. It's also known as a mystical syllable or an affirmation to something divine. The syllable Om is first mentioned in the Upanishads, the mystical text associated with the Vedanta philosophy. Cymatics is the science of sound made visible. It comes from the Greek word kyma, meaning wave. terrestrial waves, also known as standing waves, indicates that despite its vast extent, the entire planet can be thrown into resonant vibration. can manipulate water and even solids. Sinkholes are common where the rock below the land surface is limestone or other carbonate rock, salt beds, or in other soluble rocks such as gypsum that can be dissolved naturally by circulating water.
In the ancient mystery school of Egypt, Athens, and Rome, sound was understood to be the fundamental creative force of the universe. The very shape of the pyramid is an amplified receiver or resonator of various kinds of energy fields, such as electromagnetic waves, cosmic rays, electrical discharges, and gravitational waves surrounding the Earth. Throughout history, ancient monuments have been constructed along an invisible line spanning around the Earth the distance of 25,000 miles. And there is an astonishing accuracy to this alignment. Not coincidentally, the distances between all of these sites all equal the same when multiplied by the golden ratio. But that's possible that they are all so precise they are that way for a reason, and if they're natural amplifiers and resonators, then maybe they are there to help the Earth. Sound waves are formed when a vibrating object causes the surrounding medium to vibrate and a medium is a solid liquid or gas. Then what is the outside force causing this vibration on the Earth? What if there was a 10 mile radius neutron star within our binary solar system and a brown dwarf and they were all orbiting their sun, Nemesis? There is so much about the universe that we have no idea about. We're learning every day, every week, every year. What if this other solar system is affecting the Earth in sound, in vibration, in frequency, in energy? Perhaps it's just part of symmetry of the universe and of our binary solar system. Apocalypse is a disclosure of knowledge, a lifting of the veil, or a revelation. In religious contexts, it is usually a disclosure of something hidden. Shh. <laughs>